Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Let's Talk Gaming News, where we talk everything gaming and nerdy. I'm your host, Doody Rhino. Daisy Ridley, the actress in The Force Awakens who played Rey, is apparently in talks to play the latest reboot of Lara Croft, aka the Tomb of Raiders. Now this casting choice I kind of understand because if you look at the way that the games have been shifting and changing in recent times, it does kind of look like Daisy Ridley, you know? It's less kind of Double D tits and Desert Eagles and more sophisticated Brit with an obsession of going to places where she can shimmy across ledges. Telltale Batman series now. It will be released in the summer and basically it's going to tell us a Batman story that's unconnected to any Batman story that's ever been made. Exciting times. This allows for a lot of scope, especially with the villains. Now it could introduce lesser villains, give them more of the limelight, or it could do a different take on some of the bigger villains. For example, Gotham is going to introduce a female Joker which is something that not many people are aware of actually exists in the DC Universe. There is an alternative universe, I'll only be brief, where basically in the uh, Wayne family death scene, rather than the parents dying, it's actually Bruce Wayne that gets shot and killed, which leads to his father taking up the mantle, but his father is a Batman that does just kill criminals because he saw his son die, and it sends his mother insane, creating a female Joker. I'm not saying that this is what Telltale Batman's going to do, in fact I know for a fact it isn't going to go for that storyline because it's going to be Bruce Wayne as Batman, but I'm just saying, you know, they could take the villains and reshape them in a way we haven't seen before, or use lesser villains and make them more of the antagonist of the story, say for example Black Mask who got a big role in Origins. Um, rather than, you know, the Joker, Bane, Scarecrow, Two-Face, the ones that we see time and time and time again. However, just quickly, retouching on the Bruce Wayne family death scene, okay? Telltale, we've seen it time and time and time again. We know what's going to happen. We know that his parents get shot. We know that the pearls drop to the floor in slow motion. We know that we get a close-up of the revolver going off in slow motion. We know this. We've seen this. It's been done to death. I think they're going to do it in Batman vs Superman as well because a child Bruce Wayne and the parents of Bruce Wayne have all been cast so we're probably going to see it once again but we know what goes down, we don't need to see it, just pick up straight from where Batman is Batman, alright? Great, cheers. <gasps> Telltale Games obviously done the Walking Dead series and they're now doing the Batman series, but they're upgrading their engine, so there might be a little bit of a graphics upgrade on this Batman Telltale series over the Walking Dead. Exciting times. And finally on Let's Talk Gaming news today, Twitter turns 10. I don't give a shit and I doubt you do either. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure making these videos. I hope that you enjoy. Please sound off in the comments anything you think about today's episode. What do you think about Batman Telltale Games? What do you think about Daisy Ridley being Lara Croft? And hey, why don't you just comment saying happy birthday to Twitter. Please don't do that. Okay, so you can follow us on all our social media. Funnily enough, we have a Twitter account, uh, Duty Rhino. Facebook Duty Rhino, Instagram Duty Rhino, Twitch Duty Rhino, you get the kind of idea, it's all that Duty Rhino, okay? So yeah, follow us on there, please like, subscribe, share our videos, it really helps us out, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.